Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to this unique episode of Jai's Presence Live Industry Talk on Future of Metrology. Co-sponsor for the session is HQ Metro, and this session is supported by Ease of Doing Business. So, ladies and gentlemen, World Metrology Day is observed globally on 20th May every year. On this day, more than 80 countries celebrate the impact of measurement on our daily lives. So, to commemorate this day, we are presenting this exclusive industry talk. So, we have a distinguished panel which, in a fundamental sense, needs no introduction. So, I'll be very brief. So, we are pleased to join by Mr. Manoj K.S. from JAIS. Then we have Mr. Rupesh Thakur, Hexagon Manufacturing Intelligence. Then from the user industry, we are pleased to join by Mr. Anand Chandradas of RSB Transmissions. And finally, an industry veteran, Mr. Momin A.Y., Accurate Gauging and Instrument. I will invite first Mr. Manoj. And considering that automotive is a prime puller for metrology devices, I think we have a long way to go. There is a definite need to inculcate along with the Make in India program from the government, which is benefiting a lot of us, all of us, measure in India, talk about quality in India, traceability standards, follow international certifications and processes. So there is a, a lot of things, uh, you know, activities which as a, you know, as a fraternity, we need to do, we need to engage with our customers to see that metrology industry in India is moving way ahead to, you know, uh, to reach higher, uh, uh, higher avenues. Also, we have to note that uh, any country's economic progress and industrial development is very closely related to industrial metrology programs. Uh, when we talk about programs, industrial metrology programs, I think two countries would come into our mind, Germany and Japan. And I don't have to explain uh, how they view industrial engineering and industrial quality. So I think we have a long way to go as far as uh, uh, growing the metrology sector in India is concerned. But the industry is doing as of now exceedingly well, accepting a lot of solutions in the new domain. A great opening by Mr. Manoj, of course. And uh, so uh, let me now turn to uh, Rupes. Uh, Rupes, what's your thought on that? India market itself is also very big. It's a very big economy and it's one of the fastest growing economy. And uh, many of the world-renowned manufacturers are seeing India as a you know, manufacturing hub. Earlier hub, which was there, let's say China. So now they are looking at India as another manufacturing hub here. So a lot of automotive industries, which are already there, of course, aerospace industry is coming up. There is a lot of potential for electronic market coming up and uh, medical devices. Now, when all these industries are coming to India, definitely there will be a demand for measuring instruments. And that will boost the metrology metrology market we at present very small compared to the world going in and a lot of focus on quality delivery time improving quality reduction in cost all this will have more focus on the metrology products and the quality products what they are looking for and this will give us a very good boost for a metrology market in india just a moment from your experience first of all what i would see in india being a dimensional metrology trainer and to the specific geometric dimensioning and the all. So, understanding about the dimensional metrology itself is a big challenge. When we talk about the metrology, the people used to talk, the metrology, as you rightly said, Mr. Roy, it is just measurement. But in the metrology, we can say that there is the vast scope in industries and in totality, unless and until we have the complete the quality of the product uh, to measure with then and then only we can say the metrology is really uh, achieved one side we are talking about uh, the metrology is a very much uh, boosting uh, or it is appreciating in the industry and particularly when we see the particular area where it is increasing so we can see it is around the automotive industries that is the only segment which is very much appreciated. The other hand, when the real technologies are needed, there because of some the cost, because of some awareness, or some because of something uh, other aspect of uh, the the challenges, it is not getting appreciated. But we should think that how the other areas to make a good drive 
for the metrology in India. It is a long way to go, and we should start with the schooling. That would be the uh, my perspective and approach. Uh, Mr. Anand, can you uh, share your perspective? You are being from the uh, end user industry alone uh, in this panel today. The metrology industry is now uh, developing with a six percent CAGR growth rate, and uh, it is expecting more and more. And in the Asia Pacific region also, the there is a highest uh, in a highest demand in this uh, coming years. Like uh, it is growing day by day, and in the automobile fields also, there is a um, there is a expectation of um, growth from the seventy billion dollar to four hundred billion dollar within uh, five years. So there is a huge scope in the metrology market, and uh, in today's scenario. Uh, all the products quality and uh, comfort is increasing day by day and safety also so the uh, for this aspect our vehicle comfort and safety is increasing and all the components of the vehicles uh, like the doors panels seats etc are uh, the uh, uh, components uh, tolerances are also reducing day by day so this is a challenge for the uh, metrology market to how to overcome this uh, problem so there is a huge scope in this market and uh, there is a huge potential in this market so uh, as a plant head at rsp mr anand you are overseeing the entire plant operations which includes uh, production quality tqm ppm sales kaizen products and greenfield project implementation what i believe so can you tell us how metrology is evolving your rsb's manufacturing company we use a lot of quality tools uh, like pipap apqb spc fmea msa all these things and we are practicing uh, our tqm and uh, uh, tqm and uh, tpm day by day and from this since long time we are practicing it and uh, from the top to the bottom all are quality oriented uh, quality focused from the head to the uh, from the lowest to the lowest person of our company so we are actually seeing the quality as a challenge and we are uh, going to we are actually removing eliminating the root cause of the problem we are uh, eliminating the root cause from the process itself not in the quality control we are eliminating the root cause in the uh, quality assurance and uh, we actually uh, take uh, a lot of initiatives like five s kaizen qc story uh, covest kaizen covest kaizen all these types of quality tools we are using uh, day by day and uh, we uh, actually uh, uh, define the problem first and then we take the uh, collect the datas then analyze the data and uh, go to the root cause of this and then we uh, do the uh, do the problem solving through the lot of tools like uh, qc story seven qc tools spc these are the tools doe all these are the tools so our company is uh, a quality conscious and uh, customer focused company uh, in our blood also the quality is there yes uh, so thanks mr an so uh, metrology uh, technology has evolved uh, we all believe that it is evolved significantly over the uh, past couple of decades me with my guest speakers on the panel will delve into the futuristic metrology technologies that are shaping the industrial manufacturing ecosystem one of the key areas here if you uh, one is data collection of course we all know that today you collect a plethora of data uh, in a cmm you used to collect let's say uh, 200 data points for a uh, for a screw let's say uh, today you can uh, you can digitize the complete screw and you will have 1 million data points on your hand so how to interpret the data becomes the most important significant topic now here uh in the software side uh, after data collection we have how the most important topic is how do we translate an operator's mind into artificial intelligence tools how can we how can we have the most experienced operator who is getting retired how can he retain his knowledge uh, i mean uh, as a data point by which i can use it in my artificial intelligence technique this is kind of a little futuristic topic but it is already available let me come there another topic is x ray based measurement techniques x ray as a measuring uh, tool is getting very popular in the country that's one of the futuristic areas where you throw a part inside the x ray machine and as it comes out you would know everything about the part 
inside, outside, and you know the dimensions and surface finish and so on. Optical techniques naturally are going to grow. Uh, dynamic measurements, when uh, when you know dynamic measurements using optic techniques is the future. Uh, so far, if you have seen static techniques are there, very popular, getting very popular. Dynamic techniques are coming up as the body is moving, shaping, changing shape. We'll be able to measure it, like what happens in a crash test, for example. So, software, data management, artificial intelligence. X-ray and dynamic optical techniques are three, four areas where uh, the future of metrology is going to go. Uh, Mr. Rupes, uh, taking a cue from what Mr. Manoj was telling, so from equipment to software, do you believe that is going to actually change the uh, dynamics of metrology business? Oh. So earlier, see, I mean, people used to just collect the data, but now as uh, we have described, it's becoming a one key solution for you know, generating the quality data output that you want. So basically, like even we have solutions wherein you can interlink all the data, let it, let it be from design and engineering to manufacturing to metrology. So all these data can be interlinked. So whenever you get any output from a metrology product, you can analyze what could be the reason why it has gone wrong. See, nowadays we don't want to just know whether the product is good or bad. You want to, you know, don't want to produce a bad product basically. So that is the main aim of all the manufacturers. So that is to reduce the rejection and increase the throughput of the machines. So managing the software and the data is going to be the key for that. So nowadays, of course, many customers are also requiring the IoT's connection to the computers directly, management of database. So we have software like QDAS and EMA, which can collect the software from the measurements. You can have the SPC of that and you can correlate and find out in which particular time, what particular dimension had gone wrong. The production rate is going up very high up to give the output for that. So automation is one of the key factors which is going to drive in future. and. That also, of course, many of the customers want automation to be done on the shop floor. The accuracies of the systems have increased quite a bit. So compared to the earlier time, the accuracies were uh, very low. Now the accuracies are very high. All systems are nearly geared up for automation. They can be directly connected to give a feedback. So whenever any measurement is done, what is wrong and what corrections have to be done, that feedback can be given. So this is what is uh, going into the futuristic method. Mr. Momin, your point of view on the futuristic metrology te uh, technology? Technology is completely enhanced the evaluation method, data analysis method. Today, you see the five axis measurement technologies come. Many of the people yet to know what is the five axis technology. Similarly, on the Revo, the particular probe I'm talking about, it is a super pro uh, probing system, five axis where the wall seat and wall guide is a measurement of couple of minutes of the time's requirement. So such kind of the things as Mano says and the Rupes says and the processes are very much making uh, the all manufacturers strong and uh, the back end, the requirement comes with the GDNT. The GDNT are helping to make the system automation. With that, uh, uh, thank you once again. Thank you so much, Mr. Manoj, Mr. Rupes, Mr. Momin, and Mr. Anand for being in uh, this panel and sharing your expertise. So thank you, delegates, for attending. We hope you have enjoyed this session. As usual, this particular episode of Zai's Presents Live Industry Talk on Future of Metrology. We thank sponsor for the session, Kal Jais India, Bangalore Private Limited, co-sponsor for this event, ATQ Metro. For more updates, Please subscribe to our YouTube channel and press the bell icon.